Today I'm going to talk about 12 intelligences, not one. So sometimes, sometimes we think intelligence is all about one type of uh, student, very good in mathematics, numbers, very good in languages, linguistics, but there are more intelligences than just one or two. There are 12 types of intelligences. So we're going to have a look. Uh, the word education comes from the word educer in Latin, which means to bring out your potential. So we cannot bring out the potential in another person until we don't see that there are 12 different types of intelligence. If we only know two intelligences, mathematical, logical, language, then only two types of intelligence are promoted in society. So if you, if you remember uh, the word education I just said means to bring out your potential. What is inside you? Some people think students are a blank slate. Teachers have to fill the blank slate. It's the exact opposite. You already have the potential in you. Our job is to unlock that potential. That is education. Second thing is uh, critical thinking and creative thinking. What is critical thinking? Albert Tinay in, in the 1900s started the testing system. What is the testing system? Whoever scores out of 100 or A plus or A minus, he started that for some of the parents 100 years ago. We are still following that system. But that system only brings out two intelligences, mathematical, logical, language-oriented intelligence. What about the other 10? That, that type of testing system does not bring out that intelligence. So there was a person by the name of Howard Gardner. In 1983, he wrote a book called Multiple Intelligences. OK, can you say that with me? Multiple, multiple intelligences, not one, multiple. So today we're going to talk about that. Daniel Goldman, he came up with not intelligence quotient, IQ, but he came up with EQ. He was reacting to Alfred Pinay from France. So Howard Gardner said, there are eight types of intelligence. How many? Eight. But when you look at society and people who succeed, who are good at what they do, who are very uh, successful in the marketplace, there are 12 types. So today we're going to do a small survey of the 12 types of intelligence. So try to think where you are. If you have this with you, uh, we're going to start with point number one, interpersonal intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence is loves to work with others. So an intelligence that is two by two. How many of you have used Google? Can I see your hands? Without interpersonal intelligence, we don't have Google. Why? Larry Page and Sergey Brim, together, they worked together to found Google. And when Google was founded, how did they found it? They shared their knowledge. They shared their power. They shared their relationship, love for one another. They shared even the decision-making and responsibility to together. Till now, Google, you don't find Larry Page and Sergey Brim. They are promoting other people to succeed in the organization. They are in the back. They have their voting power, but they are not involved in day-to-day -day operations. And Google now, Alphabet, is the number one company in the world right now. Okay? It, it has so many different companies within those companies. It's a big, big, big company in, in the world. Now, let's have a, a small, um, uh, what do you call it? A small, uh, small demonstration, OK? So I need uh, two guys who are very close friends, you know? Dui jana, jo bancha, ami dui jana chai sangge, jeevan bari mrittu samma, you know? Dui jana, dui jana. Come on, come Fu soon. So they are going to work together. Let's see how they work together. Come on. Slow, 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 fast, 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 fast. 
Fast, come on. Come on. What else? Yeah. Sound I and I am motorcycle, but sound I am. Where's the sound? Come on, come on, come on. Where's the sound? Okay, next activity. I want you to be a horse. Horse? Boda. Ready? Steady, go. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Good job. Amro, Amro Tali Pugena, eh? Aje Tulo Tali, eh? Whenever we look at intelligence, we don't think intelligence is working with another person. But Larry Page and Sergey Brim taught us that if they work together, they can have the biggest company in the world. Do you understand? The biggest company. Now, after interpersonal intelligence, there is the next intelligence. It's not interpersonal, it is intrapersonal. Okay? Everybody say intra. intra. So intrapersonal means not working with another person. Working by themselves, okay? So I like to normally do this intelligence. So let me see if, uh, if you guys can help in this area. Great. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, can I have your ring? Does it come off? Okay. Okay. Which number is it? Eight. 
Ten. Now which number is it? Eight. Now which number is it? Six. Now which number is it? Two. Now which number is it? Eight. Now which number is it? Four. Now which number is it? Four. Now which number is it? Ten. See, you were looking here for the answer, but the answer was here. Ten. Two. Six. So. So whenever you look at intrapersonal intelligence, many times people are confused. They don't know what they are doing. They are problem. Like for example, Albert Einstein, at the age of, uh, I think it was 13 or 12, he was kicked out of school. Albert Einstein didn't go to school. He didn't go to college in Germany. He was kicked out. Why? Because he was doing something, learning by himself. And the teachers kicked him out of school because they did not understand his intelligence. So some intelligences, they work better alone. For example, Isaac Newton was sitting under an apple tree. And the apple fell on his head. And he discovered, why did the apple not go left? Why it didn't go right? Why did it not go up? Why it fell down? He discovered law of gravity. But how did he discover? In a classroom? In a workshop? In pairs? By himself, sitting under a tree. Thomas Alva Edison, inventor of the light bulb, electric bulb. Where did he, how did he succeed in the light bulb? 99 failures, one success. He said, success is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. What does it mean? It means he worked alone. He perspired. He worked in a corner. Nobody understood him. But he gave us the lights that we have today. So intrapersonal intelligence is very important. Many people think intrapersonal intelligence Oh man che che class ko badmas ho. Badmas hoi na. Jo class ko gunda ho, ho che Thomas Alva Edison ho. Ho che Isaac Newton, you know, they are geniuses. They come up with their own skills. So, how many of you uh, remember these words? Who can tell me? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Quiz. Who can give me the answer to the quiz? Kole baneko. Kole baneko. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Who said that? Charles Dickens. Yeah? A tale of two cities. Okay. This one should be easy. If music be the food of love, give me excess of it. That suffering, the appetite may sicken and so die. William Shakespeare, what? William Shakespeare. Where, where? Yeah. No, where, where William Shakespeare? <laughs> no, no, which book, which book? Which uh, drama? One clue, February 14. That's a clue. Romeo and Juliet. Ah, so it's a romantic, eh? Well done. Third, third quiz. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. It's the end of a poem by Robert Frost, American poet. One more. To be or not to be, that is the question. William Shakespeare, Hamlet. Okay, good. See, when we look at words, I have written this book. Uh, and I have a PDF copy. If anybody wants, I will send it to sir. It's free for everybody. I have written one, yes. So, the name of the subtitle of the book is, the book is My Bank of Nine Words. A handbook for those who never stop learning to communicate well. A handbook for those 
who never stop learning to communicate well. So in this book, the chapters are naming words, introducing words, action words, position words, substitute words, bridge words, describing words, picture words, emotional words. There are nine types of words in communication. If you master these nine types of words, you will be a PhD in communicating with others. Okay? I have discovered this to end. Guess where I discovered it? 24 years ago, my Nepali wife and me, we came to Nepal for our honeymoon. <laughs> the honeymoon was so good that we are nine children now. Okay, so let's go. Where are we? Number? Number three is finished linguistic intelligence. That is what this is words. Okay? Now, the fourth one is musical intelligence. So, musical intelligence, the best example in the world right now for me, I am. I am a little bit biased, but my favorite pop star is Justin Bieber. Oh. Justin Bieber, he was 12 years old, and a person by the name of Scooter Brown was going through YouTube, and suddenly he saw Justin Bieber's YouTube video as a 12-year-old. So he went to his mother, and he said, can you help him? He's a very good singer. He's good at music, he's good at singing, he has his own songs. And then his mother said, okay, use him. And now, when Justin Bieber, Bieber releases a song, it has 50 million views, 30 million views, 40 million views. But how was he discovered? By Scooter Brown, how was he discovered? By YouTube music video. So all of you there, you know, he earns millions of dollars, millions of dollars. If your song becomes number one hit and somebody, uh, you know, uses your YouTube video, I will come and take your autograph. So, oh, she's a sister. Wow. $20,000 per year. I want to take your autograph. Right? Just buy YouTube video. So when we think of, think of intelligence, we think, ah, gana gana day. You know? But no, look at all the musicians. More than one billion musicals, music has been say, sold by Taylor Swift. How many? One billion dollars. How many of you want one billion dollars? If you have music talent, put it on YouTube. You never know. Somebody may discover you. Okay? That's the fifth, fourth type of intelligence. Let's go to the next one which is logical, mathematical intelligence. How to use math? Okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you all to become mathematicians, okay? All of you need to become like Albert Einstein. You have to become very clever. So, one big view. Okay, what is this? How, what is it? How much is it? 
value. So I've come to tell you, all the academics in White House, value is zero. <laughs> Sorry, not in my case. <laughs> all your family, all the family, zero. zero. All your work, money, talent, skills, zero. what is missing? Zero. What, who said that one? Who said one? Okay. Very good. We, have, we need to give an extra time. How was it? 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 Now it has value. Till now, no value. You know what is this number one? Hitler. Hitler was very good in academics. Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden, yeah? uh, Mussolini. They are PhD level educators. They were fantastic. They were great in education. Some of them had very good families. Some of them are very skillful in talking and other things. But zero. You know what is this number one? A good heart. He oh. oh. <laughs> was educated, but he was a devil. Mussolini was very, very clever, but he had no morality. He was not doing good things, he was doing bad things. Saddam Hussein, Osama bin Laden, the same. So mathematics, it's very important. Mathematics is all about mathematics is all about having to know what is the number one thing. What is the number one thing? A good heart, a good character. Without that, academics is useless. Without that, family is useless. Without that, work, talent, skills. Money, okay, good. Let's go to the next intelligence. Number six. Uh, this is called spatial intelligence. For example, uh, these people are very good at. Uh, they're very good at graphic designing, solving puzzles, uh, having data, pictures, maps, directions. So Google Maps is one of the things that was invented by the American Army. And now it's helping all of us in the world, but it's maps. So think of a chess player. They use the, for the squares to move it very intelligently. So some people are very good to become ship captains. They are very good to become plane captains. Okay? How many of you, how many of you will trust a plane um, pilot if he does not know good geography? If he does, cannot read maps, will you get into that plane? I will not get into that plane. Why? Because a pilot has spatial intelligence. He knows, this is the room I have, I have to land my plane here. If I land my plane over there, everybody is going to die. So that is also interior designing. You know, people who design book covers, who design these posters. These are spatial intelligence. Okay? Very important profession. You can become a graphic designer, data collector, you can do coding. I'm, my son over here, he is studying coding now. He has made his own app. So coding is what? It's being able to look with data and different things and come up with a alphabet for pictures on the computer. Okay, so that's the sixth type of intelligence. Seventh type of intelligence uh, is Bodily kinesthetic intelligence loves to use movement and in physical intellect, intellect for good. How many of you? Uh, how many of you know what I'm doing over here? Who's your favorite cricketer? Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli. He has more than 260. Followers in Instagram. 266 now. And per year, Virat Kohli is earning 20 million dollars. How many more only dollars? 20 million dollars. All he does is take a bat, hit the ball for six, hit the ball for four, hit the ball, run one run, run two runs, run three runs, 20 million dollars. You know what? Why am I not Virat Kohli? 
<laughs> because my in physical intelligence is not as good as this. I may have mental intelligence, but I don't have physical intelligence. Okay, so whenever you look at Pele, Messi, Ronaldo, they have what intelligence? Physical intelligence. What about ladies? You know, uh, so many different movie stars, they, they act so well, women. So many different uh, singers, they dance so well. Uh, what, what's her name? Dua, 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 so remember, there is not just one type of intelligence. Physical intelligence is as good as mathematical intelligence. Okay, let's go to the eighth one. Classical naturalist intelligence. Loves to use nature and adventure to illuminate earth. These people like to study rocks, the clouds. Um, their career choices are gardening, biology, zoology, botany. Now let me ask you a question. Nepal has some mountains? Yes. Any big ones? Yes. What is it? Okay. Mount Everest, Himalaya. Eh? The Himalayan mountains. The biggest mountain in the world is in Nepal. But one New Zealand guy came from New Zealand and he called. I'll give you an example. And he called. He said, I'm from New Zealand, I do not know where is the highest mountain in the world. He looked at Tenzing Norgi. Can you help me please? Go up. So Tenzing Norgi said, come, I'll take you. You do not know how to wait. He took him up the mountain. Then, Ekwilinizi told the whole world, I came first on the mountain. But who took him there? Okay, so what does that mean? Tenzing Norge was very good in nature, classical nature, mountains, rivers, valleys, snow, rain. So that is also an intelligence. You know the Sherpas, they are famous, world famous, not only for climbing mountains. Second World War, the most gold medals for bravery in the war is given by the British Army to who? Gurkhas. Why? Because they know that there's a joke about Gorkas, you know? Uh, they were saying, now from 20 feet from the helicopter, we have to go down and attack the place. And uh, the Gorka soldier said, not 20 feet, 10 feet. And they said, no, no, 20 feet is easy, we can do it. They said, no, we can't do it. 10 feet, we can do it. What they thought is 20 feet with, without parachute. So they were saying, with power, without parachute, we'll jump 10 feet. <laughs> so they were that great. So some people who have nature intelligence, who are good at mountains, rocks, rivers, seas, you know, they, that is also an intelligence. If you go on YouTube, if you go around the world, there are many shows, which is adventure shows. How the person goes into the wild and how he lives and stuff like that. That is also intelligence. Don't discount that. Because we have Tenzing Norge. Yeah. Tenzing Norge, nice to meet you. So let's go to the next intelligence. The next intelligence is um, helper worker intelligence. So this is the ninth intelligence. The ninth intelligence is how to work with others, how to help others. Okay, let me ask you a question. Will Nepal be happy if there are no more hospitals? No doctors? No nurses? No nursing homes? So this is also an intelligence. Having compassion, having mercy, having empathy, having pity, having feeling sorry, saying, oh, you met with an accident, let me take you to a hospital. That is also an intelligence. How do I know? Mother Teresa. <coughs> if you look at Mother Teresa, she, her organization is in every country. She has billions of dollars at her disposal 
to take care of the poor, the dying, the broken, the sick, even no place for hospitals, she takes them in. No money, she takes them in. Money comes. Why money comes? Because people understand that that is also intelligence we need for society. When we look at street children, Sujan works with them, Saran works with them. When we look at women in the dance bars, the cabin restaurants in Nepal, uh, my wife works with them, gives them job skills, non-formal education, informal education, formal education, uh, give them uh, a trade that they can use instead of prostituting their bodies or going and working as a children instead of education. So this is also a skill. This is also an intelligence. This is also a workplace success job. Okay, because Mother Teresa showed it to us. Uh, when we look at um, a lady, her name is Mary Poplin. She wrote a book called Finding Calcutta. That's where Mother Teresa started her work, Calcutta in India. Mary Poplin is Claremont University professor. She written a book called Finding Calcutta. So what she says is, everybody does not have to go to join Mother Teresa to help the poor. You must find your Calcutta. What is your Calcutta? Maybe Jaula Kale. Maybe your Calcutta is where? Sanepa. Maybe your Calcutta is where? Uh, sorry? Maleku, yeah? Or maybe Chitwan. Or maybe Pokhra. You have to find your Calcutta. This is also, there is, I don't know if you look at the stats, foreign aid, it is one of the biggest industries in the world. People earn more money through foreign aid than many other industries in the world. Why? Because people want to help the poor. They don't have time, and you have a gift in that area, you can start an organization to aid some poor people you will be well taken care of. Why? Because that's also an intelligence, like Mother Teresa. Okay, let's go to the next one. Tenth intelligence is called leadership intelligence. Not everybody is called to be a leader. Okay, leadership intelligence is how to express my strong will in realizing or in bringing to fruition my project success. So what is my project? Whatever it is, I am good at making it succeed. So a leader, when you want to do something, you ask a leader. So sir was telling me about our friend, he's good at baking, all sorts of things. So that's a skill, that's a leadership skill. He can bake anything. He can help so many people in this area. So leadership skill is, I did not tell you to do anything, but you yourself did it, and then I recognize you as a, that's your skill. I'll give an example. Um, how many of you heard of a person by the name of George Washington Carver? Not George Washington, that's the president of American. George Washington Carver. Okay, let me ask you another question. How many of you have eaten with your bread peanut butter? It is invented by George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver he invented out of the peanut 300 inventions. Another invention is paper. Another invention is mobile oil. Without the car, without the bike, you cannot come here today. And you came here because of George Washington Carver. Because through the peanut, he invented mobile oil. So this is what he said. He said, um, uh, I, I, I combined three laws of compatibility, temperature and pressure, and I came up with 300 uses of the peanut, including flour, paste, insulation for our electricity, paper, wallboard that we have over here, uh, stains, soap, shaving cream, skin lotion, and many other different. So how did he do it? Listen to me. In, in, uh, in uh, 19, was it, uh, yeah, 1950s, 1850s, in America, the blacks and the whites could not work together. They could not go to school together. They could not do business together. There was called segregation. So all the blacks were slaves. 
All the whites were liberated people. So the blacks, what they did? They all the time planted cotton. So after some time, you keep on planting only cotton in the ground, the soil becomes depleted, becomes useless. So Tuskegee Institute founder, Booker T. Washington, spoke to George Washington Carver and said to him, can you make an invention that we can plant in the ground? So he came up with crop rotation. So you know crop rotation is, uh, if you plant tomatoes to this, this time, next time don't plant tomatoes because already tomatoes took that vitamin from the soil. Next you plant potatoes, then you plant carrots. So you put back in the soil and you take from the soil, that's called crop rotation, invented by George Washington Carver. He was a slave, he couldn't do anything. All he could do was be in one place and where the cotton crops are. But even in that place, he invented 300 uses of the peanut. How, how nice, can you think? If you're a slave, you're supposed to be in a room, you can't go here, you can't go there, but you still invent 300 things. That is leadership intelligence. You can be locked up in a jail like Nelson Mandela, but you can still liberate your country. You know? So leadership intelligence is, you have an idea and you make it come to pass. Even if nobody's looking, nobody's asking you, you still make it come to pass. Let's go to the 11th intelligence. Uh, it is uh, uh, association intelligence. Loves to excel and flourishes in delegating teams, multitasking and harnessing communities. How many of you have heard of Mahatma Gandhi? Everyone. How many of you have heard of C.F. Andrews? Nobody. Charles Freer Andrews or C.F. Andrews was Mahatma Gandhi's son, uh, as, as Mahatma Gandhi's friend, when they were in England studying law. They became friends. And Mahatma Gandhi told C.F. Andrews, I do not like the Britishers looting my country. I want independence. Can you help me? Do you have any ideas? He said, very simple. I have ideas. What is it? He said, non-violence. If somebody forces you to go one mile, go two miles. If somebody forces you to give them their coat, give your shirt also. If somebody, if somebody slaps you on the left cheek, give your right cheek also. When you walk and somebody says, don't go there, don't go there. It's called non-violent struggle. So C.F. Andrews taught him that. And then Martha Gandhi said, can we try it out? So they went to South Africa. They started the non-violent movement in South Africa. And they protested by not doing certain things that way they were supposed to do work. And they started the freedom struggle there. Then they came back. And they came to India together to do it. Guess what? One day Mahatma Gandhi became friends with Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bose. You know who he is? AJC Bose? He was going to Hitler to start an Indian army to come and fight the British. And Mahatma Gandhi said, I will also go with you. And this is what C.F. Andrews told Mahatma Gandhi in the Indian newspapers. Personally, I've never been able to reconcile this with his own conduct in other aspects. It is one of the points where I have found myself in painful disagreement with him. Publicly in the newspaper, C.F. Andrews corrected Mahatma Gandhi and said, you are going the violence path. You are going to found, found an army with Hitler and with AJC Chandra Bose. That is your wrong path. India will not win this way. Continue with non-violence. <coughs> Mahatma Gandhi, to his credit, repented. Mahatma Gandhi, to his credit, changed his mind and said, I, I made a mistake. That is a wrong idea. I'm going to go with your idea again. And today, India has independence from, tyranny, from, from rule that is, was basically looting India. Yeah? Divide and conquer so that they can loot all the wealth of India. But the Britishers failed. India succeeded because C.F. Andrews and worked together with Mahatma Gandhi. So nobody knows about C.F. Andrews. Everybody knows about Mahatma Gandhi. But if you study history, you'll find many colleges are named after C.F. Andrews in India. 
Why? To remember what he has done. So what is association intelligence? Working in teams. There is an African proverb. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Can we say that again? If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is also intelligence. Intelligence is not only intra, inter, but intelligence is also getting a partner, business partner, and working together to succeed. Don't do life alone. Yes, you may have a marriage partner in the future. You may have children as your partners in the future, but don't stop there. There are many other partners, people who want to help you, and you help them succeed in life. Okay? What is partner? P-A-R-T-N-E-R. What is the word part? Take part in each other's success. So what is association intelligence? Both people win-win. What is win-win? I win, you win. We together win. Okay? Some people, I will use you to win. Oh, man, say, say, juga. Juga ke garcha? Blood donation di dena. Dincha? No, no juga goes to hospital. La, mero blood linus. Juga, chuscha, chuste, 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 belun baira, puttera, moriyaj. Tara di dena. Don't partner with some people who are jugas. You know, they only want to take mosquitoes. They only want to drink blood. You, know? you need to be a person win-win. Association intelligence. Let's go to the next one, last. Critical thinker intelligence is loving to see the negative so as to problem solve. Now I'll ask you a question. How many of you, if I give you a free plane ticket to America with the visa, how many of you would like to go? What do you have? You have one? How many of you want to take it? Free. Okay, but there's one condition. One condition. In that plane, there is no oxygen mask, there is no life rest, there is no parachute. Will you go? Yes. 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 You still go, eh? Okay. See. Everyone knows who invented the airplane. Orwell and Wilbur Wright. Do you know who invented the parachute? Who invented the life vest? Who invented the oxygen cylinder, oxygen uh, mask? Who invented it? I also don't know. <laughs> I'm still Googling, I can't find. But critical thinkers always look and say, we have a plane. But we need a parachute. We have a T uh, Ford car, you know, started by Henry Ford, manufactured, but without brakes, will you use it? No. Motorcycle without brakes, will you use it? No. no. Why you will not use it? Because that is also an intelligence. Critical piece of intelligence. One person standing sitting in the jail, they're looking at the bars. Another person sitting in the jail, Looking outside at the stars it is your attitude. When you have a negative situation, how to bring a positive? Okay? So critical thinker intelligence is very important for our society. Every time we think, oh, Nepal society, oh, India society, everything is good. But in America also there was a problem. As I said before, there was black and white segregation. Do you know how that segregation ended? There was a lady by the name of, her name is, uh, um, hang on. In 1852, Harriet Beecher Stowe wrote a book called Uncle Tom's Cabin. Everybody say, Uncle Tom's Cabin. It was a book about how black people need to be liberated. And Abraham Lincoln met her. Because after she published that book, civil war took place in America. Those who were wanting to free the blacks and those who wanted to keep the blacks as slaves became civil war because of one book. So what is critical intelligence? A book also, a simple book called Uncle Tom's Cabin. And Abraham Lincoln said this about uh, Harriet Beecher Stowe. So this is the little lady who started the Great War. 
So this is the little lady who started the... She didn't do anything. She just wrote a book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. Everybody in America read the book, Civil War started. And today, black Americans are free. Why? Because Harriet Beecher Stowe had critical intelligence. So what is critical intelligence? Sir, how many are faculty over here? How many, how many faculty over here? Can I see your hands? So the student that was always saying, Ah, sir, eh, boring cha, sir, eh, ramro cha, na. sir, eh, che, bigre cha, sir, sir, mala man pare na. That person has critical intelligence. You have to ask them, okay, how can we make it better? Ask them, how can we make it better? Because critical intelligence will help you to make your place a success. Okay? Make heaven on earth on your place. Okay, thank you very much. Conclusion. Conclusion. One minute more. Conclusion. Alfred Pinay, in the 1900s, some parents came to him and said, can you uh, make a test for us so that we'll know how our students are doing in their studies. So he came up with a IQ test. Okay, IQ test, which is all the tests in the world, started 100 years ago, in, in the year 1900. Then the army, American army, took that test and they used it among the soldiers. Then many businessmen, educators took that and they made it SAT, SATs. What is SATs? It started as scholastic aptitude test, then it became student assessment test, today it's just SAT. What is SAT? Logical Mathematical Intelligence. But Daniel Goldman said, no, Alfred Pinay, we not only need IQ, we need also EQ. What is EQ? Emotional quotient. There are other intelligence. Howard Gardner came and he said, there are eight types of intelligence. In my research, I have found out there is not eight. There are 12 types of intelligence based on success stories worldwide, case studies. So I want you to remember when you keep this with you, okay? When you see a person who's badmas in, in your class, among your friends, they have critical intelligence. Celebrate them. Point them in the right direction. Are bhaiya, parachute, brakes, you know, uh, oxygen cylinder. Uh, oxygen mass, all those kind of things. So, thank you very much for this talk, talk, and I hope I can come back again in the future.